In a recent announcement that has set the space exploration community abuzz, Elon Musk, the CEO and founder of SpaceX, has revealed that his company may be on course to land a spacecraft on Mars within the next four years. SpaceX, a renowned spacecraft manufacturing giant, has already made significant strides in spaceflight and exploration, including the development and launch of cutting-edge rockets. Now, in a bid that may appear to some as another audacious endeavor, the company is gearing up to launch a spacecraft bound for the Red Planet. Any predictions on when Starship might land on Mars without crew, maybe a crewed flight? Any, uh, any prediction there? Well, hmm. I think three or four years. Four years. That would yeah, be... something like. All right. Um, I have to check with the Earth Mars. Uh, you know, Earth Mars. Uh, the you know um, get, get have orbital synchronization about every twenty six months. Um, so you can't just go you fly to Mars when it's on the other side of the sun um, from Earth. Uh, that's uh, unwieldy. So the, roughly every twenty six months, the orbits. Um, uh, are in the, the right relative position, um, and then you then you have the Mars transport window. Um, so I, I think you know, but I think it's sort of feasible within the next four years um, to do an, an uncrewed test test landing there. Yeah. Musk's optimism shines. Through Musk made this revelation during a video conference at the International Astronautical Congress held in Baku, Azerbaijan. During the conference, Musk not only shared his vision, but also expressed a sense of optimism regarding SpaceX's Starship project, boldly stating that the formidable launch vehicle has a decent chance of succeeding. But, but we, have, we, we have a giant um, custom-designed tower with massive mechanical arms that will literally try to catch the booster and catch the ship, um, which it sounds insane. I mean, I haven't even seen a sci-fi movie that does this, you know, um, but in theory, it should work. It's, it, it work. Let's just say success is in the set of possible outcomes. Recalling SpaceX's recent setback earlier this year, on April 20th, SpaceX attempted the inaugural launch of the Starship for its first uncrewed test flight from its facility in Boca Chica. However, the mission faced a setback mere minutes after liftoff. During the test flight, the upper stage of the vehicle failed to separate from the lower stage, resulting in a mid-air explosion. Consequently, what was intended to be a 90-minute debut flight concluded in less than four minutes. Musk treads cautiously. During his presentation at the Congress, Musk acknowledged SpaceX's reluctance to set expectations too high given the setback experienced in April. Nevertheless, he remains upbeat about the Starship rocket's ability to eventually fulfill its long-standing potential of successfully reaching Mars. The Road Ahead for SpaceX The realization of this ambitious goal remains uncertain with numerous challenges ahead. Currently, SpaceX's primary focus is on addressing the grounding of the Starship, which was initiated in September by the United States Federal Aviation Administration, FAA. FAA's safety concerns. The FAA grounded the Starship after concluding its investigation into the April explosion. The investigation identified multiple potential causes, prompting the FAA to mandate SpaceX to address 63 corrective actions to prevent such incidents in the future. Hope on the horizon. However, there is a glimmer of hope on the horizon. Acting FAA Administrator Polly Trottenberg mentioned that the launch license could potentially be ready as early as October. This development comes as SpaceX claims to have made the necessary corrections to address the identified issues. In addition to regulatory hurdles, SpaceX must secure environmental clearances for its launches, adding another layer of complexity to its ambitious Mars mission. A bold vision for the future Elon Musk's vision of landing on Mars by 2027 is undeniably ambitious, fraught with regulatory challenges and technical complexities. However, if there is one figure in the realm of space exploration who has consistently defied the odds, it is Musk himself. 
SpaceX's transformative impact on spaceflight over the past two decades serves as a testament to the company's remarkable capabilities and innovation. As SpaceX continues its journey towards Mars, the world watches with bated breath, eager to witness history in the making. Elon Musk's audacious vision of colonizing Mars by 2027 is a testament to his unwavering determination and groundbreaking innovation. While the path to Martian colonization is filled with regulatory hurdles and intricate technical challenges, Musk's track record in reshaping the spaceflight landscape over the past two decades instills confidence in his ability to push the boundaries of human exploration. SpaceX's journey, a paradigm shift in spaceflight. SpaceX's journey, from its inception to becoming an industry leader, has redefined the realm of spaceflight. The company has achieved numerous milestones, including the successful development of the Falcon 9 rocket, the Crew Dragon spacecraft, and the ambitious Starship project. These accomplishments have demonstrated SpaceX's prowess in space technology and its commitment to pushing the boundaries of what's achievable in the cosmos. Regulatory Roadblocks and Technical Complexities However, the road to Mars is fraught with challenges. Regulatory approvals, safety standards, and environmental clearances are just a few of the bureaucratic hurdles SpaceX must navigate. These processes are integral to ensuring the safety of space missions, and they underscore the importance of adherence to rigorous standards. Moreover, the technical complexities of landing on Mars and establishing a sustainable presence are immense. Overcoming obstacles such as the thin Martian atmosphere, extreme temperatures, and radiation exposure will require groundbreaking innovations and cutting-edge engineering solutions. Terraforming, the ambitious process of making Mars more Earth-like, remains a daunting long-term goal. Musk's indomitable spirit. Yet, in the face of these challenges, Elon Musk's indomitable spirit remains a driving force. His relentless pursuit of innovation, combined with SpaceX's dedication to reusability and cost efficiency, positions the company as a formidable contender in the quest for Martian colonization. The world watches and waits. As SpaceX continues its quest to make Mars colonization a reality, the world watches with anticipation and fascination. The notion of humans becoming a multi-planetary species is a dream that resonates with many, as it represents not only a triumph of science and technology, but also a testament to human ambition and resilience. In conclusion, Elon Musk's vision of landing a spacecraft on Mars within the next four years and ultimately establishing a sustainable human presence on the Red Planet is a monumental undertaking. While the path ahead is challenging and uncertain, the world has witnessed Musk's ability to turn ambitious dreams into reality. As SpaceX forges ahead on its Martian odyssey, it may very well usher in a new era of space exploration that will leave an indelible mark on the history of humankind's journey beyond Earth's boundaries. Set of possible outcomes. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the probability is, but success is somewhere in that. Is, is success possible? Yes, I think it's possible. Um, in terms of catching it, I think. Um, well, well for, for, the, on, for the ship side, we, we obviously want to make sure that it actually comes in fully intact and, and lands at a precise location in the Pacific before uh, we try to catch it uh, at, at the, the launch site, because we, 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 we're, we're taking every proportion we can uh, for, uh, so that we do not risk uh, any, any human lives uh, or, or destruction of property. So uh, it'll be a few flights. So, so for the ship, it'll be, when, when we see the ship landing at a precise position, in the, in the water, uh, that's when we'll uh, try to catch the ship with our Mechazilla on the tower. Uh, the booster, obviously booster flights, we've, we've done many times on Falcon 9, so we're much more familiar and have a much higher confidence uh, with booster recovery. Um, we, we've actually had the booster boost back to land and, and land at uh, Cape Canaveral Air Force Base um, many times, uh, so, albeit with landing legs, not with the Mechazilla arms. Um, so booster, I, 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 but it, it, I, I think I think there's a decent chance, depending on when our licenses are granted, that we would catch the booster within the next uh, year or maybe less than a year, and, and then hopefully 
uh, if, if we get lucky, we might catch the ship um, towards the end of next year. And where does the catch take place? Is it Willie Mays in the middle of the outfield over his shoulder, or is it Florida somewhere? Uh, no, it, so the, 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 both the booster and the ship come back to the launch site. Okay, fantastic. 